strangers. Well, they seem they seem to be uh, liked at times. Uh, they're attentive, and do they are they verbally responsive at all? Well, I just started to the. Okay. I just have a actually just read the first um, part of. Uh, I just read it one day to them so far, so I'm not too far. But I'm, I'm kind of anxious to hear what yeah. they might. And I'll be curious to see if they identify with you as the writer. Mm -hmm. you know? I, was, I was holding it up to me. Is that you? <laughs> 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 that's it. Yeah, that's one. My and brother said that. Uh, he said, you don't have your picture. And then he said, oh, oh yeah, there you are. <laughs> 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 <Brother>. um, <laughs> do the children, or did you prepare them at all for by talking about Alzheimer's? Do they, how, yeah. how much do they... <clears throat> know about it because I think you'd have to have your head in a pillow if you didn't know something Some about know it. and some didn't seem to know too much yeah. about it. Pretty good. Yeah. Did you do a lot of work on research like um, you know just out of curiosity as the statistics of the number of people that no. no, no, I just should have. Because <laughs> I know the the um, they say it's much higher now than it used to be, but I, I don't know any statistics on the number of people. Now, Beth, um, I mean, you're a nurse too, but I was wondering if um, they say it's the sixth leading cause of death, but is it just because of Alzheimer's? Is it because of something else if they're in bed for a while and they get pneumonia or something? Yeah, I don't it could be secondary, it could be secondary but you know, as the brain deteriorates, the ability to function disappears too. So we have shut down the wrong parts, but I put it that way. If my grandmother was like from 95, uh, 75 to 91, that's a long time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think it's also the lack of being able to communicate. So if something as simple as having a toothache, you can't tell your caregiver or someone else to give a toothache because they can't explain that, or you don't know what's happening. So a lot of times before things are discovered, it's way past when things can be healed. So okay. yeah. mm -hmm. I just add one thing about the book that we haven't touched on, and that is that there are many threads in it. There's the thread of the parent, the mother going back to work, mm -hmm. uh, the thread of the parents starting new relationships, which Karen touched on. But they kind of weave through the book, so it's really got a lot more depth than just the Alzheimer's mm -hmm. part to it. Yes, it does. That's a very good point. Yeah. And it's very well crafted. The yes. ideas that may be introduced earlier are, are pulled on through it. And so it's very good. Mm -hmm. that I like the simplicity of your sentence style. Mm -hmm. you, know, that you sound like a young person. It's not extended thought processes is taking various concepts and manipulating mm -hmm. them like an adult think it might do. That would be true to the journal mm -hmm. style, wouldn't mm -hmm. you think? I mean, because... Well, well, I, don't I don't know, but it was... You know, an adult person would write a more complex sentence, mm -hmm. I think. But um, it, it sounded to me like a teenager mm -hmm. as you were reading it, and that, that struck me. I have a young voice. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I think that's. I think that 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 point is very well taken because I can remember um, crafting a um, uh, a paragraph, a descriptive paragraph, and I was um, the character that I was that I was writing about was um, uh, the seventeen and and. Uh, a friend of mine read it and 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 said, "This is very good." However, he said, "You are making it. It it is. There's a tendency here to make it sound like that it is a older person remembering when they were 17, as opposed to a 17-year-old speaking." And I said, "And I think that that from what what I've heard today, that that you have." Completely avoided that. In other mm -hmm. words, that it that it has a genuine ring of a of a thirteen fourteen year old girl uh, to it, as opposed to the as to perhaps a a elaborate sentence structure or whatever that 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 she wouldn't she wouldn't have had would be using in 
in in uh, in jotting it down in a journal. And I think that's a very, I mean, that's a very favorable thing that you've done. So I mean, it's very good. We have several writers. Yeah, I was just going to ask how uh, many are in uh, the writing group. Yes. Raise your hand if you're in the writing group. <laughs> Come on. Guilty. Marilyn is writing. Molly. 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 Well, I know, but... <laughs> and I said I had a problem. I just couldn't get out of the sixth grade. <laughs> <laughs> but it's interesting. It's, it, everything I, you've read has been has been. Okay. 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 I'm but I'm curious. Um, have you done writing to newspapers? Did you, were you in, you know, like oh, in high school? No, you know? I wasn't. You've never written for public... <laughs> I just, I'm just amazed that you have a color in your, the way you put your sentences together, they're very vivid as I listen. I get images, you know, and I, it, it really, I'm kind of amazed that you do it almost naturally, you know. If you haven't had that, you sound more experienced than what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> I've been reading books and you know children's yeah, book for so long probably. Yeah, okay. <laughs> 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 but but she's right. Yeah, yeah. Well, you will have the opportunity if you haven't had yet to uh, examine Karen's book up close and personal. <laughs> and, uh, there it is. And there are refreshments over there. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Karen, have you put your book into other people's libraries? Uh, the, at the middle school, um, our school, my brother bought a couple for, <laughs> out in California for his yep. school. Yep. Uh, I would love to see this put in the library. I, I did send um, an inquiry to the Alzheimer's. There's a teenage connection yes. somehow. And they asked me for a hard copy of it, so I sent it, and I never heard back. But then I went to the website, and it's listed as a resource. Oh, oh wow! Yes, the kind. Oh, that would be wonderful. So, what did your brother think of the book? He seems to like it. He, but um, I have three brothers now, uh, three that are still alive. Um, my older brother said. Oh, who is Joey? I said, did we live in the same house? I didn't have a boyfriend in high school. Or <laughs> and then John was upset because he said, I, you have four brothers, and you only have two in the story. And then he said, are you still friends with those girls? I said, John, they're made up. <laughs> you had a hard time with that, didn't you, John? <laughs> thing a writer has to deal with, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Nancy has a new book out. You should come on. Oh, about that. I do. I have a new book, but I'm not going to plug it too much today. It's mm -hmm. called The Dog That Managed Hedge Funds. And <laughs> it's all Helena's fault. <laughs> That's the one you had to whip up in a flash. It is. Oh, it's it's, it's yeah, the yeah, fault of the uh, uh, friends of the library because they did NaNoWriMo, which is National Novel Writing Month, where you write 50,000 words in 30 days. Wow. Um, yeah. <laughs> and on the website it says, um, produce laughably awful prose. And I felt insulted because I don't want to produce laughably <laughs> awful prose. I don't see any future in that. <laughs> but I went ahead anyway, and I had fun with it. It's a, it's a funny book. Um, it's uh, it's a, it's a funny book, but it's around. But today the f focus is on Karen, and we'll we'll put the focus on the dog that managed hedge funds another time. Well, we, we might try doing that around the next year, so other people want to. Oh, okay. Yeah. Danielle Masterson <laughs> yeah. also completed her novel. Yeah, she is going on. She did. So that's quite amazing for. There's almost a hundred percent of people. Well, not quite. Um, yeah, Tom yes. Parker didn't complete it. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> right. He had great, he had great, great, great. Nevertheless, you can still go on. I That's mean, right. I started it. Exactly. Sure. So, 
And you know, we should mention that both books are available on the web, right? Aren't they listed from the um, If you Google them? Okay. Um, yeah. The, the, in my right. books, this mm -hmm. one is available um, in yours too, at the Cheshire, at the Cheshire, Cheshire Press, Press site. Mm -hmm. um, you we should get, tell people that. People. Yeah, we probably should. On the CheshirePress.com, <laughs> you can order Karen's book um, and have it sent right to you. It will arrive in the mail at your door. <laughs> the Cheshire, yeah, the Cheshire Press, Cheshire Press www dot CheshirePress dot com, and you can also get the dogs that manage hedge funds on on that. I do have some. Form a line. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.